Hi and welcome to our Performance Plus Tip of the Day. Today we're going to talk about the ball toss on the serve and uh, everyone who's ever played tennis has struggled with the consistency in the ball toss and arguably I think we all agree that uh, the ball toss is the most complicated and also the most important part of the serve and of course the serve is really the most important part of the game. So, so critical that we learn how to place this ball correctly. And my goal here at Performance Plus is not to just say the same things you've heard everywhere else, but instead I want to give you new and different information that is going to help you uh, achieve what you're trying to do here. And in this case, we're trying to control the ball and get the ball exactly in the same place every time. So that being said, how do we get the ball into the same location every time? And, you know, there's been a lot of tips over the years where coaches have said, you know, put a basket down or put a racket down and do all those kinds of things. And that does help. But the reality is that when you're playing a match, there's no racket down there to measure whether the ball is in the right spot or not. So that doesn't really help that much. I think it could help a little bit, but if you don't really know what you're trying to do, then it, it doesn't really help that much. So what are the keys to placing the ball consistently? Well, we already know from all the other instructions that's been out there for years that we're not going to flip in the wrist, we're not going to move the elbow, we're going to elevate from the shoulder. Okay? We're going to elevate from the shoulder. Now let's get to the exact point of release because there's a very specific place that almost every single professional releases the ball and if you know where that is and how to get to that spot with the right feel you can start to develop consistency. So the point of release is a 45 degree angle. It's a 45 degree angle from the horizontal. That's your area of release right there. Could vary a degree or two but it's generally going to be right at the 45 degree angle. Now. This is going to help you release the ball in that spot. And this is something that I have never heard before from anyone online or offline, anywhere. So this is new information and listen carefully. And if you watch uh, Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, any of them, watch what happens. When they go to serve the ball, they look at the court, they go into their routine, they do their routine. We'll talk about that more later, what that's all about. And they get set, they take one last look at the court, and then when they start their serve, they transfer their eyes, and their eyes just sit there, and they wait till the ball gets right there at the 45, and then they let the ball go. So they aren't guessing at where that spot is, and they're looking there waiting for it. You know, it's amazing. Uh, oftentimes you see players that go like this, and they get ready to serve, and they look up in the air, and they toss it up in the air somewhere, and that doesn't help. And other times you see players that actually try to follow the ball. You see them go like this and go like that. But that doesn't help either because it, both of those introduce way too much movement in the critical phase right here where you want to stay dead still, which we'll talk about more later. So practice this. Practice the skill of going out, doing a routine, coming to the back foot, staying dead still, and just going one, two, three. Then bring it down, take one look, go to the back foot, fell right into my hand, exactly where I wanted it to go. Miracle? No. Knowledge? Yes. So the key elements from this tip are stay still while you're elevating the arm, keep balance on the back foot, stay dead still, know where your release point is, and look at that line and wait for the ball to enter into that line just like that and see it and let it go right there and it should start to develop a lot of consistency and coming back to your hand. Give that a try. Check out my next tip, which is going to give you a little bit more detail about the ball toss and help you even more. Okay? Have a great day on the courts.